श्री राजमोहन उड़ीता जी Thank you very much, Speaker Sir, for giving an opportunity to speak on supplementary demand for grant. Yes, Minimal Chief, please wait here. Sir, yes, yes, please. Will, will you please keep mum? Please, please continue. So, Ramesh Bidhuri ji, you spoke within the time. and again you are speaking <laughs> thank you very much speaker sir for giving an opportunity to speak on supplementary demand for grant sir our economy is on the verge of collapse i recall a cartoon drawn by satish acharya in the cartoon prime minister modi ji is depicted as a chaukidar at an atm the people like nero modi and vijay mallya are running away with money looted from the atm Meanwhile Chaukidar Modi ji is sleeping quietly and a poster is placed in front of him that reads in case of emergency blame nehru rather than indulging in nehru bashing and emotional blackmailing of the people this government has failed miserably to save the economy of india india could overcome the global financial crisis of 2008 9 widely referred to as the great recession under the sagacious leader of sri manmohan singh a great economist but the present government failed the economy with myopic economics and unscientific measures like demonetization and hasty implementation of the gst sir unwise handling the covid-19 pandemic further aggravated the crumbling economy the government must issue a white paper on the impact of the demonetization uh, demonetization on the indian economy sir india is facing new brain drain as skilled and educated young indians are running from india due to her poor economy and lack of employment a recent report by red sea strategy consultants predicted that close to 1.8 million indians will spend 85 million US dollars to pursuing a degree abroad by 2024 at present 13.24 lakh international students are studying in 79 countries according to a ministry of external affairs report released in 2022 sir global ratings from moody's recently lowered india's 2022 real gdp growth projections to 7.0% from 7.7% we expect growth to decelerate to 4.8% in 2023 the moody's said the downward revision assumes higher inflation high interest rates and slowing global growth will dampen economic momentum by more than we had previously expected the moody's forecasted the consumer food pr uh, price inflation in india has increased from 0.68% to 8. 38% between September 2021 and April 2022 sir overall inflation rate was recently reported to be around 7% with the most of the price rise steaming uh, from high food and fuel prices in kerala the price of all varieties of rice staple food in the state has doubled in a year people will have to spend rupees 2.2400 uh, crore extra a year on rice life of the common man has become miserable due to high inflation and unemployment in 20, 2014 the government of india launched its make in india initiative as a part of india's renewed focus on manufacturing the atmanirbhar bharat campaign announced in 2020 was also intended to further boost local manufacturing under the stated goal of making india economically self sufficient sir but the government could not make any headway in this sector mainly because of india's poor infrastructure india uses only 3% of its gdp for infrastructure construction each year as compared to china's 20% of its gdp the farming community is facing a severe crisis in india the prices of cash crops 
are falling down after a moderate post pandemic revival the price of natural rubber has crashed into sixth month low of 140 per kg in the indian market the price of latex which soared during the pandemic due to huge demand from glow makers took a more severe uh, doubling with its prices rolling down below to 120 sir sir the government of india has discontinued the railway budget so it should be resumed kerala has very inadequate railway infrastructure much awaited kanyangad kanyur railway line connecting kanyangad kerala with mysore and bangalore through kanyur karnataka and the shabari rail link connecting angamali with erumeli is still pending with the southern railway of uh, uh, for approval sir the construction of railway flyovers in north balabar has commenced years back in my constituency kasargod 10 such flyovers have been proposed but still all work is progressing at snails pace the construction of some flyovers have not even started and other rob still await approval the work of neelesharam pallikara rob in the final stage now the only thing left is to control the train traffic and to place the grids approximate uh, appropriately unfortunately it has been waiting for months for the permission of the railway ministry sir it, uh, kannur international airport yes come sir kannur international airport complete four years on 9 december 2022 it is one of the most important airport of kerala we are sure that you are aware that kannur has not been considered as a point of call so far even though all the national carriers of gcc have rep- repeatedly expressed their wish to have flights to kannur yes. so we request you to kindly include kannur airport also in the point of call list for foreign airlines currently only four indian companies air india air india express go first and indigo are operating a handful international and domestic flights an instruction from your side to all the indian airlines companies to provide more services both on international and domestic routes will be highly appreciated at present kannur airport doesn't have any operation so far east countries like malaysia singapore and thailand where chennai and bangalore airport were operating to these countries yes sir, sir, only, 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 only one. my constituency kasaragod has for the last year, few years from the disaster effects of endosulfan pesticide the endosulfan was sprayed over the cashew yes. plantations in the district 23 years since 1978 it has ruined 30 villages village panchayat and three municipal towns in the district as per the supreme court directive 6000 sir only only two minutes no no one minute one, one minute, minute. Six, uh, 6727 persons were identified as the victims of endosulfan I urge upon the government to allocate sufficient funds to Kerala government to rehabilitate the endosulfan victim. Thank you, Sri K. Uh, only, one, only one point more. You have allotted me one one minute. In to, uh, 2003, the government of India announced the Pradhan Mandri Sustha Suraksha Yojana (PM SSY) initiative, which aimed at correcting regional imbalance in the availability of affordable, reliable tertiary health ser- care services. new aims were planned under pm ssy kerala deserve an aims which would set up in kasaragod district Thank the you. most backward district in terms Thank of you, health Ji. infrastructure speaker uh, finish it no conclude one second you what 